Let's consider a situation where we have a bag of marbles. In this bag of marbles, I'm going to have 16 white marbles, 20 black marbles, and one red marble. And I want to look for a variety of probabilities of what's going to happen when I pick one marble out of my bag. So this is our situation that I'm looking at here. Now, if we're picking one marble from the bag, notice that the first thing that we want to do is figure out what the total number of equally likely events are. And there's 16 white events, there's 20 black events, there's one red event. And if we add those together, notice that there's a total of 37 marbles in the bag. So when I go to make any sort of a pick for my probability, 37 is going to be the total number of outcomes for that pick. If we take a look at a couple of vocabulary pieces here, let's suppose that I want to find the probability of picking a red marble. Okay, well, there are 37 marbles in the bag. One of those marbles is red, so there's only a 1 in 37 chance that I will end up picking the red marble. If I divide that, I get 0 0.027 or a 2.7% probability of being able to pick the red marble from the bag. Let's suppose that I want to find the probability of picking a red or a black marble from the bag. Here we see that word or again. And the important thing when, to consider when you're seeing the word or is that this situation can apply or this situation can apply. Either one is going to make this work. So if I want to think about it this way, if I have, I want to look at the probability of picking that red marble and also the probability of picking a black marble. And those are completely separate options. There's no overlap or anything. So I can think of it just like this. My chance of picking a red marble is one out of 37. My chance of picking a black marble is 20 out of 37. And if I do one over 37 plus 20 over 37, I end up with 0.568 or 56.8% chance of that happening. I get a red marble or a black marble. Again, that concept of or means that we're gonna need to add the probabilities together. Just be careful that you're not double counting. In this case, it's either gonna be red or black. There's no overlap. I'm not really going to trick you much on the problems that we're doing here, but it's just something to kind of keep in mind. So I could have a red marble or I could have a black marble. Those are our only possibilities. If you just wanted to look up here if it's red or black and just count the red one and the black one gives me a total of 21 out of the 37 marbles, you're going to get the same exact answer here. But really understanding this idea of what does or mean and how it comes together is going to really be more useful in some of the larger problems that we'll be getting to soon. Let's consider the probability of picking a red marble or a yellow marble. Well, in this case, the probability of picking, I see that word or, so I'm going to have a probability I can either look at getting a red marble or I can look at getting a yellow marble and I can add those probabilities together to get my solution. In this case, for the probability of picking a red, there's one out of 37 marbles that will work, plus the probability of picking a yellow, well, there are no yellow marbles, so that's just zero out of 37 and that's totally fine. If I add those together and divide, I end up with 0 0.027, or a 2.7% chance of picking a red or a yellow marble. It ends up being the same as just the chance of picking that red marble. Red counts, yellow counts. There just weren't any yellow in this particular case. 
Now, what about the probability of picking a marble that's not red? Well, there are two different ways that this could happen, right? I could pick a white marble or I could pick a black marble. So when I'm looking at finding the probability of something not being red, one way that I can do it is to break down possibilities of things that work. In this case, the probability of picking a white marble is 16 out of 37, plus the probability of picking a black marble is 20 out of 37. I can have this probability chance picking a white, or I could have this probability chance picking a black. And if I want the chance of either of those happening, I'm not going to get a red because these are the only ways that that can happen. If I go ahead and add those together, I'm going to end up with 0.973 or 97.3%. Another way that we could think of not picking a red marble is remembering that picking a red marble is the same as our only options. If we don't pick red, that means we have to pick red. Those are the only, I said that weird. The probability of picking not red and the probability of picking red together have to make a total of 100% because those are the only options. It's either red or it's not red. So if I want to find the probability of something not red, one way that I can do that is to take 100% and then subtract everything that's not not red, which is the red category here. So I can take my 100%, subtract the probability of it being red, which was 2.7%. We calculated that once earlier. And if I subtract those, I end up with 90 7.3 percent, which is the same answer. So I can either calculate the probability of something not being read directly by looking at what my possibilities are. I could either pick a white marble or a black marble based on my situation, or I can take the probability of getting a red marble that I'd already calculated and subtract that from 100 percent, and I end up with the same value total as I go through. What if instead I wanted to find the probability of picking a white and a black marble? In this case, I'm using the word and, which means I need both of these things to happen. What's the chance of me picking a marble that's both white and black when I'm only picking one marble from the bag? Well, that's impossible to happen. There are no conditions where I can fill both of these at the same time, only picking one marble from the bag. And so here I come up with an impossible situation. Now, if I wanted to have two marbles, then I could pick a white marble and a black marble, and we can talk about that. So let's look at that case in the next video. Let's take a look at what happens in situations where we want to draw two marbles from the bag and come up with an overall probability.